We have our special guest that's giving us a call. For people who've been looking forward to this segment here all night, he's finally on the line. You know, Edna Carl own Devin Bush is on the line with us. Devin, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'm here. We, okay. Turn, turn the volume up for us, producer. Devin, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. I was saying that you got a lot of practice going on, man. So, Y'all in a very busy time of the year, man. Spotlight on high school football, bro. Yeah, we ready. Ooh. Devin, man, uh, kind of just talk about... Um, Leading up to the Jamboree tomorrow night, man. I know y'all can't wait to get us ready to hit some audios. I mean, I know y'all played East St. John last week, but I, you know, getting it to front of in front y'all, the Cougar Nation, um, and, and preparing for that, and then getting ready for Week One, man, and a, and a tough opponent in St. Paul. Just talk about how y'all been preparing for that. Uh, we've been competing every day. I feel like that's the best way to, to, you know, just get ready for this hard schedule that we're gonna have. I feel like our best opponents is our stuff at practice. Also in defense, you know, we just attack everybody. We attack each other, so I feel like it's going to be easy one. A game stop coming. Well, listen, Devin, man, this is Fred, man. Look, I got a question for you, man. How, how does it feel to be, you know, a, a Cougar, man? You know, you talking about you guys are now are the two-time 4A state champs, man, which is an impeccable thing to do in high school football, man. You know, preparing to come up to the season, man. Talk about, tell people about Cougar Nation, Edna Carr. What it feels like to be a Cougar? You know, we had Coach Bryce Brown on yeah. last year that they, after they won, but we want to hear from the player. What does it feel from a player to be part of that Cougar Nation? To be part of Cougar Nation, I mean, that's a wonderful feeling. It's, it's a place where you'll learn how to be a better man, also with being a better football player. So you really get the whole thing done with these coaches. You know, we have great coaching staff. Everybody loves everybody. You know, they just going to teach you how to be a better man along with being a better football player. So it's great. Man, Devin, you've been starting since your 10th grade year. That's not easy to do at in the car. I mean, everybody knows if you come in and play that early as a 10th grader, you must be like that. You did that in your 10th grade year. And I, I think you finished the season with your 10th grade year with uh, seven interceptions? I uh, finished with eight. Eight, eight. I'm sorry, I shorted you one. I shorted you one. Man. I shorted you one. I shorted you one. You finished your 10th grade year with, with eight interceptions, man. Just talk about that whole process, man. Um, getting the end of the call, starting as a 10th grader and progressing each year, man, and, and now ultimately being a full-star cornerback and one of the most highly touted DBs in the nation. Well, starting my 10th grade year, you know, I was the youngest star on the team, and I had a big opportunity to see two of the best receivers that came through Louisiana, uh, Reese McMadden, Dejon Dixon. I faced them every day at practice, and I feel like it just made me better. They didn't take it easy on me because I was young, so that just made me better. My junior year, I faced uh, Anthony Spurlock at practice. Uh -huh. You know, fast guy. He, he crisp on his way. So, you know, I always had a receiver at practice to push me to be better and better, so I really applaud them for that. When you get with Devin, you know, t you know, you are arguably, you know, the second best corner in this state. You know, according to twenty four, you know, twenty four seven sports dot com, you know, you know, Devin Stigling, you know, is, is number one, and you're second. You know, great, you know, Gray Brooks is arguably third. You know, and that list goes on, man. Tell everybody how does it feel for you to be a top rated corner this your senior upcoming senior year, and what's your biggest expectation that you're looking out of yourself? this upcoming senior year? I mean, being one of the, the best cornerbacks in the seat, you know, there's always a target on my back. I feel like every week we play, I'm going to get a receiver's best shot because of me. And, you know, the expectation this year is just to repeat, you know, make sure I leave my brand on the young kids when I leave. Mm -hmm. So the legacy can stay gone. Nah, we know that you, you got we got uh, awarded number seven. And if, for a lot of people that don't know, that's a big deal at, at the car. That's like wearing number seven yeah. at LSU. You wear number seven, you that guy. You that dude. And, and it's not just about being a talented football player. It goes beyond that. Man, Devin, kind of explain to the people that's listening how big it is and how, honor, how, how it's an honor for you to be awarded number seven from not only your coaches but your peers on, on your team. Man, to be awarded number seven, I feel like 
it's one of the biggest honors that a football player can have in the car because that means you're that guy. You're always dependent on that, always looking for good things. You know, that's, that's all. So, you know, being awarded number seven, I feel like my team really trusts me with it. You know, they know I'm a playmaker. They know I'm going to help them when the bleed needs to stop. So that's about it. Okay. Now, I got a question for you, Devin, man. When you looked at the calendar yeah. this year, you looked at the schedule, what team you looked at and said, man, you know what? We're going to have to give our best effort this, this night. When you looked at the schedule and said, man, look, this the team here. You know, obviously y'all are the target. You know, y'all are the 4 a state champs, you know, two-time state champs. But when you looked at the schedule this year, you said, man, listen, this, they, this team here, they can give us our best shot during the regular season. What school you think, you, you know, that you're looking forward to playing this year? Ooh, that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> we did, we did. <laughs> well, you know, I'm on it. I'm on it saying that's a tough one because well, I know we got Eastern on our schedule and a lot of people looking forward to that game. But I feel like our best competition is ourselves. I feel like we go against the best people every day at practice. Ooh. Ooh. I like that answer. I like that answer. Uh, that's a typical end the car answer right there. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, Devin, man, look, I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and get into it, bro, because uh, you've been making, you've been having a lot of people around the state wondering what's going on. Uh, you announced your top three uh, around June, I think it was June or July, somewhere around there. You announced your top three. Uh, it was Clemson, LSU, and who was the third one? Tennessee. Tennessee. Recently. You put a you put a uh, letter out on Twitter saying that um, you've reopened your recruitment, and now you kind of going to be uh, entertaining a lot of different schools. Uh, tell me what went on into that decision, and um, what happened for you not to um, still involve those top three schools, or are you still involved in them top three schools? Well, you know, um, with reopening my recruitment, I just feel like I acted prematurely. I feel like I acted too fast, but I was. You know, taking another look into these schools, you know, dealing with the football and the academics and stuff, and just sitting down with my parents and planning everything out. You know, I sat down with my parents, my coach, and we just agreed to, you know, open it up, get a fresh start, get all these coaches and the team another shot, and then we're going to do it the correct way this time. We're going to evaluate all the schools equally, and, you know, we're going to see what's best for me in the end. So do you, do you have any top schools at the moment, or is it still, like, just super wide open? I uh, know it's super wide open. Ooh. I know a lot of schools like to hit it. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I saw uh, Dijon Scooter uh, Harris trying to do a little recruiting on Twitter today, bro. I don't know. What's, what's up with that man down there in Arkansas? Yeah, you know, he, uh, he a dude from around the way where I'm at. So, you know, we got a close connection. I feel like, I feel like he want me to come now, you know, just to take the boys from the boots of Arkansas and you know, just ball. I feel. I think. I think uh, they home defense. What a lot of the defensive players are from Louisiana. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. noticed it. I noticed it. I noticed it. I noticed it. A good bit off. That's gonna be interesting to keep my keep an eye on. Yeah, you know, Baton Rouge. You gotta watch out. You Chad know, Moore. Chad. I think Chad Moore about to do some things up there in Fayetteville. <laughs> well, listen. I, I got a question for you. Speaking about recruiting, you know. Talk about that a little bit. You know, what are some of the things now that you open up your recruitment process a little bit? You know, you being a very high rated recruit, you know, player. You know, t tell people who don't understand a little about recruiting. You know, you know, what are some of the things that you've been going through? What are some of the things that you're looking for? You know, as a player, you know, what do you think are some of the things that you think you know what is going to be a best situation for you being a highly rated football player? Come out of the week or at the call. Well, when it comes down to looking for a school, I feel like. First, you should look for a school that has the defensive scheme that you like and that you're best at. Uh, you know, then it all builds down to what you want to major in in school, the academics, you know, how long a coach has been there, how long he thinks he's going to be there because a lot of the coaches have been, you know, switching schools and stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just little things like that. Nah, I know you, you all about the team. And I, I know that about you, and that's, that's something that's been instilled in you since you got to the end of car program, and something that your your parents have instilled in you. But I've noticed something over the last few months, and I just want to get your take on it. Mm -hmm. I've been seeing these Under Armour invites being sent out. 
I've been seeing these Army All Americans invites being sent out. I'm not I'm not about to touch on some of the kids that's got invited. That's not what I'm here to do. But I, I have noticed that you one of the top rated corners, not just in the state but in the nation. How are you feeling being overlooked by the Under Armour and the All American uh, Army people at this moment? Well, you know, I'm, it's not a good feeling to me because I went to the Under Armour camp. You know, I balled out. I put up good numbers in the count. And I've just been waiting ever since, but seeing the players that been getting the invite, you know, I'm better than most of those players. Right, right. So, it's, you know, but that's, that's not something that I could control. Right, right, I right. I can't just beg them for the invite. Right, right, right. Is, is it something that, like, you think that it's going to add fuel to the fire going into your senior year? Like, all right. Y'all won't overlook me? I'm going to show y'all this year. Oh, yeah, I got, a, I got a lot of things to prove and a lot of people to prove wrong this season. Ooh, see, a lot of people to prove wrong. No, I feel like this will be my best season. Now, I, I, I got a question for you, Devin, man. When you, you know, when you watching, you know, watching your game and you watching how to make yourself better, and you're looking at guys at the, at the collegiate level, and you're looking at guys at the pro level, who are you thinking you're trying to model your game behind? You look at, you know, Devin Bush, and you say, man, my game has a similar – I play the game very similar to a guy like Blank. Who is that guy that you're watching, you're studying as a football player? Well, for a cornerback, I watch Patrick Peterson of course. Mm -hmm. And then for a cornerback, I watch Patrick Peterson, of course. You know, I feel like I honor my game after his because of our speed. You know, the aggressiveness, he could come down and tackle, he could play the ball, he could play man, he could play zone. And I feel like I do all those. That's that's the that's the only corner that you kind of emulate your game around. Nobody else. Uh, yeah, that's the only play I've been watching as a corner. Like I watch his highlights since sixth grade. You know, over and over and over. I still watch him to this day. Right. 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 A lot of young kids watch model Patrick Peterson game. Right. A lot of young kids model that number right, seven right, right. out of Baton Rouge. Right, right. It's a popular thing to watch. Right, right, I'm right. Not, yeah, I, 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 I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to that. Not opposed to that. In the, he wore number seven, did his thing at LSU, went to pro. He's been a he's been a Pro Bowl corner his entire NFL career. Mm -hmm. Not a bad, bad guy to model. Not a bad guy to model. But then again, you got to ask yourself the question. Do you have the same athleticism? Can you do some of the right, things that right, he's able to right. do? Because a lot of I, things I, he do is a lot of athleticism that a lot of guys didn't have that gift. Right, right. Yeah. I think that's that's what that's what Devin is uh, alluding to. That right. he 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 has the speed. It's speed. Um, he catches the ball at his highest point. Mm -hmm. He can turn and run with the best. I mean, he has that. He has good size. Yeah. Um. So I think that's why you see him looking at Patrick Peterson as somebody he emulated. Yeah, game you know what I'm saying, Devin? Um. Right now, are, are, are you still working on setting up official visits? Um, is, is LSU coming back into the picture? Do they have a shot to get your services? I mean, to kind of talk about what's your plan going into uh, these next couple weeks and or the next month of trying to set up visits and stuff like that. Well, you know, the visits, you know, I'll pick out uh, probably three or four schools, maybe five, take on fishing. Like I said, I've been talking to some of the coaches at some schools. So they really want me to come, so I'm going to sit down with my parents, my coach. We're going to set up an official. And with LSU, I mean, I don't know. They're not really recruiting right now. You know, they got all the corners that I feel like they really need. Ooh. Ooh. That, 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 sound, that sound like that's adding more fuel to your fire for this Ooh. senior season. You hear me, Devin? Yeah. I said that sounds like that's adding more fuel to your fire for your senior season. Well, I mean, anybody that I pass up on me, I got to what he did. Well, I'm a diehard Michigan fan, baby. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. Don't, for, <laughs> don't, don't, don't forget about Ann Arbor, baby. I don't, th I don't think he's going to go up there in that cold, man. I don't, th don't, I don't, don't forget about Ann Arbor, baby. I don't think his mom and his daddy won't go up there in December, man. Ain't no one with Ann Arbor, oh, baby. Man, it's cold, man. Charles Wilson won a Heisman, man. Understand that, man. <laughs> he the last defensive player to win a Heisman. Go to Ann Arbor, baby. <laughs> man, Devin, man, hey, bro. I appreciate you taking your time out your busy schedule, man, um, to come do this segment with us, bro. You got to promise to me, man, you're going to come back on the show before the season over, though. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be back for sure. And then, man, Devin, Devin Bush, Bush, man. Appreciate you, bro. All right. Thank you. All right. All right.
That's Devin Bush, man. Number two rated corner in the state. Man.